the torture chambers and the secret police are gone forever. But when these pictures from Saddam's notorious Abu Ghraib prison came out, it's clear that they had a scandal on their hands. Some say these methods originated in Guantanamo. We just haven't seen the pictures. Rumors have also begun to circulate. New rumors of interrogators using sex and hip-hop music to get people to crack. Yeah, um, it depends on the actual person, like, say, from people from... Say, say from me, for example, they wouldn't pay me rap, because they wouldn't be doing no, no. Because, <laughs> no. obviously, I, that's what I grew up on, so it's no big deal. But let's say to some of the bros from Saudi, or from Yemen, who don't use, listen to any of that at all, it'd be more effective against these type of people. Um, they were playing, uh, I remember, Fleetwood Mac, uh, Matchbox 20... Uh, uh, Chris Christopherson. Um, they're the ones that I remember. But I also found out that um, when they used to play the music um, to the detainees or prisoners in Iraq, that they were playing the same music. So I think they played some some rap or tune to you, didn't they, Mahdi, I think, in um, interrogation. Constantly played the same. Um, they didn't play rap to you? Yeah. Same. <clears throat> Cut again and again. Same song all the time and all the time. I think it's in the law. Come into Hobbit and hit them. And don't spell don't spell us a rap hella to them. Oh hella to them. against you too? Personally, no, me personally, no. But I have met people who it's happened to you and spoke to them. Did they ever try that with you? Oh, I should have done it. How many times did you try it? Oh, it was... They had tried a lot of other things and then they sent them in. Som eh, hon hade vanlig så här, militär uniform. Så, här. så hon kom till mig och började prata och så här, och säga att hon kunde göra mycket för mig och så här, och börja ta på mig och massera mig och ta på mig vissa, på vissa platser och så här. Och sen att hon kunde hjälpa mig med massor med grejer och så här. Och sen hon, när hon kom ibland när de här vissa ställen så ja, liksom, så här, liksom, gjorde jag med händerna så här lite. Försökte skydda mig lite så hon ser. Hon ser till långt och så här. Och så liksom, ja, I alla fall hon blir till slut förbannad när jag inte, liksom, alltså, när jag inte blev eh, intresserad eller jag inte blev, eh, gick inte med på hennes villkor och så här, eller, och så hon, hon gick ut efter ett tag. Och jag sa, sen lämnade hon, hon sa, när du vill, det bara säga att du vill träffa, hon heter Silvia, sa hon. Säg bara när du vill, säg att du, du vill bara träffa mig så vi ska ordna allt och så här. Sen gick hon. Maybe that sounds like a prisoner's wet dream. To have a woman in uniform come in and give him a massage. 
but we are sure that the methods aren't used for the prisoner's comfort and convenience. What kind of bizarre interrogation methods are being used at Guantanamo? And what happens to the prisoners that are still being held there? And are these methods really sanctioned from above? Part of the answer comes thanks to the Abu Ghraib scandal in Iraq, which set off a storm of protests and a wave of investigations, which made public thousands of previously classified documents. Human rights activists all over the world begin taking measures to get prisoners released from Guantanamo. Even in the uh, Schlesinger report, you get a piece of paper like this, which is called Evolution of Interrogation Techniques, Guantanamo. These are techniques actually approved by our Secretary of Defense, Donald Rumsfeld. And if you read them, you get sickened by them. Among all the documents, we find a story. A story that has its beginning in the fall of 2002. They have a problem at Guantanamo. The prisoners have stopped talking. And the old methods don't seem to be effective anymore. <gasps> Now, they want to interrogate for 20-hour sessions, remove prisoners' clothes, let them stand naked in uncomfortable positions, make them wear hoods. They also want permission, under medical supervision, to lower the temperatures in interrogation rooms and take advantage of prisoners' phobias in order to get them to talk. For example, a prisoner's fear of dogs. So here you have our Secretary of Defense authorizing the use of dogs. And of course, the word phobias is particularly interesting because that has to do with uh, the religious fact for Muslims that dogs are unclean. What later happens in the interrogation room when the new methods are implemented, only the prisoners know and their interrogators. The problem is the interrogators at Guantanamo don't give interviews, with one exception, Tori Nelson. He's featured as a witness in an investigation about the photos. Apparently, he also worked at Guantanamo when the request for tougher methods were sent. He agrees to meet with us and explain the methods used there. Um. 18 to 19, change of scenery up and change of scenery down. This is where you take the person out of the environment that they're used to. And if you put them in a change of scenery up, maybe you put them in a, in a nicer area. Change of scenery down, meaning that you're going to put them into an isolation chamber, uh, cold uh, conditions, raw sewage smell, or, or something like that, where, where just the, the, the conditions are, are much worse. Face slap, stomach slap, if you can hit them enough so that it shocks them especially if it gets a loud slap, but you don't actually break any bones, um, cut them, uh, bruise them, uh, then that's an effective technique is, is the way that they would usually refer to it as. Uh, the hooding is actually placed over their head and the interrogator uh, shouts their questions at them through the, through the hood. A prolonged standing makes someone lean against a wall in an uncomfortable position. Uh, if they were to do it for five seconds, it wouldn't be too much of a bother. After five, ten minutes, it really starts to, uh, to wear down uh, their physical resistance. Environmental manipulation, if they come from warmer climates, putting them into a cold room, uh, almost like a freezer for us. False flag, when interrogators will come in and pretend to be from another country where the person could face the uh, threat of of uh, physical torture, abuse, um, uh, long-term incarceration, those sorts of things. Increased anxiety by use of aversions. If they had phobias of uh, heights or uh, of um, certain animals, you might introduce that to make them uncomfortable. All of these are, in, in, in my humble opinion, um, completely ineffective and detrimental to the, to the overall mission which is to, to gain actionable intelligence, to gain uh, willing cooperation. Um, you could use these techniques if you got 10 people to maybe give you a little bit of information uh, using these techniques. I guarantee you I could get one person to give more information if I was to convince that one person that we're the good guys and that we're their friends. 